Hi, I'm Billy from Sweetie Darling, and today is about a week until Father's Day, so I thought I'd show you how to make a super easy beer cake. So I've started with two five inch round cakes, and I've used a cake leveler to cut each of those in half. I'm adding a layer of buttercream in between each layer of cake and stacking them up, and then I'm adding a crumb coat. Now the crumb coat is so that you contain all the crumbs within the buttercream and they don't get into fondant and also helps stick to the fondant to your cake and it acts as a form of structure as well. Once it's chilled it keeps everything nice and solid so when you lay fondant over it it doesn't move. When you've added your first crumb coat you want to chill your cake so either the fridge or the freezer. I normally use the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then you can bring the cake back out the fridge or the freezer and add a second crumb coat. And this one you'll notice is much thicker, you shouldn't really be able to see much cake through it. It provides real structure when you put your fondant over the cake. When you have your second crumb coat done, you're ready to put your fondant over your cake. Now I use shortening to stick my fondant to my buttercream. You could use water if you prefer, and um, hot or cold water should be fine. I just find it's a bit messy, so just a very thin layer of shortening. I find it easier to do. Just rub it all over the cake and then your fondant will stick to, to wherever you put the shortening. Now roll your fondant out, keep lifting and turning the fondant to make sure it doesn't stick. I use corn flour to stop mine from sticking. You can use icing sugar if you'd rather. I just tend to find that icing sugar dissolves back into the icing, so you have to add more and then it can dry the icing out a bit, so corn flour is better for me. But like I said, use what you, use what you prefer. Once you've got your icing rolled out, you can lift it up and lay it over your cake. Concentrate on the top to start with, so polish with your hand over the top of the cake and then come down an inch or so onto the sides and just get it around the top edge of the cake so everything's stuck on, you know it's not going to pull down. When you've done that, concentrate on the bottom and getting your pleats out. Now you want to carefully and patiently lift the pleats out of the icing and pull the icing towards the cake. Give yourself the extra to work with. You've got it there, there's no point in pulling it down really tight and stretching it away from the cake and make, pull it and pull all the pressure on the top edge of the cake. Use the icing you've got. So lift the pleat out, put it towards the cake and then using this part of your hand you can push the icing onto the side of the cake. Keep turning and doing that the whole way around and eventually, it does feel like a long time, it does feel like it's not going to go, but eventually it will fit round. Once I've got my cake iced, I decided to run some marks up the sides of the cake so it looks more like a glass and a tank of very manly glasses that you get in a pub. Now to do that I've just gone in opposite directions of my cake, so I've done one opposite, two opposite each other, two opposite each other, and then in between, and done that way around so there's evenly spaced around the cake. And that was just a case of marking it with my finger to start with, and then I went back in with the end of my smoothness to sort of redefine the shape in there so it gets a bit deeper. My smoothness, worth pointing out, some of them are just a sharp edge, mine are curved up, so I can do that without leaving ridges in there. Check your smoothness because if they've got a sharp edge, they're going to so just be ridges into your glass and it's not going to look quite so glass like. Once everything's stuck on, you're happy with the ridges in there, you can use your palette knife to trim the fondant off the bottom of the glass so get as close as you can. Make sure your fondant is stuck on your cake before you try and trim the excess away. Otherwise you're going to put your palette knife in and pull the fondant away from the cake. So make sure it's stuck on and slice your palette knife back and then pull the fondant away so you've already cut through when you're pulling it away and you know it's made a clean line. Now I've used honey gold sugar flare paste colour and the vodka that we use for painting, not partying, which I need to learn the name of. I can't pronounce that, I don't know how to pronounce it, so anyway, I'll write it below. I think it's Spiritus Rectificawaini, I went well, didn't it? Anyway, that really, really strong vodka that I bang on about all the time is what I use for this. So I've made a sort of like a watercolour, wishy washy honey gold kind of like a beery, lagery colour, and painted all over my cake. Now, I did not worry about how evenly this was done. It's Because it's kind of watercolour, it goes fairly evenly anyway. It's not like you're going to fit like an oil painting. It's, it's watery colour, and it's just to give the idea of this beer there. Because you've used a very strong vodka, that will wrap it off really, really quickly, so you can get on with decorating straight away. There's no real time waiting for that paint to dry with this. It's going to get on and get off again and leave you to carry on doing what you want to do with it. Now 
all the frothy, foamy bubbles on top. I've rolled balls of fondant, and I have it's just plain fondant. I've used uh, Massa Ticino, so if you've got a very soft fondant or it's hot where you are, I'd recommend adding some CMC or Tylo powder to it. But to be honest, it'll probably be fine just with the, the balls of fondant. So I've rolled those, and then depending on it's quite humid here at the moment so the fondant got a little bit tacky and I could just put them straight onto the beer glass and they stuck. If it's not the case where you are, you just use a little bit of water or a little bit of sugar glue, sugar glue and you better to stick those balls on. So I've just worked my way around with bigger ones and then filled in any gaps with the smaller ones. I didn't really want to see the cake in between too much, like glimpses of it is fine, tiny little cracks it's fine because it just looks like the beer underneath anyway, but I didn't want whack and grape. Sort of, so you can see a flat colour in between. And I think the best part of a beer, I don't I like beer, really, at all. But, there's that froth on the top. Oh, eat that, that's really nice. I think that's the only good part of a beer. Which I think is probably sacrilege for beer fans. What can you do? Then, for the handle, the last bit, it's actually good if you can get the handle made ahead of time. So once I had my cake iced, I measured how big my handle would need to be and it was about 10 centimetres on these parts, the parts that would actually be against the cake. Um, this is made of flour paste, so you could use flour paste or gum paste. Flour paste is a bit stronger than gum paste and dries a bit quicker, so this was really quick. I probably made this and then was able to put it in the cake after about half an hour. To be safe, especially if it is humid where you are, I would leave it overnight so you know it's fully dried out, but if you're in a hurry, it'd be fine to do just one. Use your initiative. If it's flexy and it's wobbly, don't put it in there. If it's pretty much firm and it's holding its own, put it in. So it's a sausage of flour paste that I've rolled. I would say about a centimetre and a half thick. Maybe a centimetre and three quarters thick. I'm really good at estimating sizes. But I have rolled that sausage and then curved it round into a C shape and measured where it's 10 centimetres, so made it so the, and then made it so the width of it is 10 centimetres and then cut it at a length that I thought would be good for a handle. So, so you don't you don't want a handle coming all the way out here, that would be weird. And it probably wouldn't be supported very well. So I've done a suitable size handle and cut it straight and then I've inserted a cocktail stick into each end of it so I can push the cocktail sticks into the cake and it will hold it there as a foundation for support. Once it's dry, you can either just push it straight in again if it's quite humid and your paste is a little bit tacky. If it's not, then paint a bit of sugar glue or a bit of water on the ends of the handle and then push the cocktail sticks in. The cocktail sticks are going to do the majority of the work and they're going to hold everything in place. The water will just make sure that it is definitely stuck on and dry, though it's not going to come away from the cake at all. That's how to make a beer cake. Treat your dad to the cake and a cold one on Father's Day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up because it really helps and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.